the city of St. Louis is on track for nearly a 100% reduction in homicides when comparing 2022 with 2020. Why is this happening? Because the city funded the police and Missouri is a constitutional carry state where people are getting armed and defending themselves. When you hear about all these cities where the homicide rate is up and the homicides are out of control, sometimes um, media people will throw St. Louis into this just because typically we have been part, you know, part of that and they haven't bothered to really look into it. But let's look into it. So far, as of today, there have been 71 homicides. So considering we're about halfway through the year, we're looking at, like, if these trends continue, about having about 140. Compared to 263 in 2020 and 199 last year. Missouri continuously does, leads the nation in protecting Second Amendment rights. St. Louisans typically haven't been great about um, understanding why those rights are important and arming themselves. I think a lot of us, um, and myself included in the past, have just, our, our reaction to guns is just only knowing them about gun violence. And really just feeling like that we are just ignorant a lot of the times that how, you know, being armed actually pre prevents gun violence. But now people are becoming more and more aware of it, especially people in minority communities are becoming aware of it and they're arming themselves. And criminals aren't um, as bold when the populace is armed. Also, um, the police have been uh, fully funded and then some. Um, in 2020, there was like this it was like a virtue signaling where they said they were defunding the police and they like cut some money from the budget, but then they gave more, but then they funded it more than twice of the money they cut. So it was just, it was just like a virtue signaling, something that they could put in the newspaper and then the newspapers ignored when, um, they funded more than, more than double of what they cut. Um, also they're placing police in the high, um, traffic neighborhoods, which you can see, let me see down here. So you can see it's more so, mostly North Patrol. Central Patrol is bad. I live in Central Patrol. Um, Central Patrol, Patrol is bad too, in parts. Um, and Central Patrol is a combination of both South City and um, North City. North Patrol, it's by far the worst, and they're just they're placing way more police up there. So yeah. Also, another really huge thing that they've done in the city of St. Louis is allowed officers. To now, um, here was the neighborhood breakdown. Interestingly, let me see my neighborhood. Look, we have none this year. Tower Ruby says none this year. That's beautiful. So beautiful. What about Gravoy? Let me see. The neighbor, the Gravoy Park has zero. That's totally amazing. That's the neighborhood just to the south of me. Um, that's really amazing. Awesome. Let's look at what's Benton Park West. Benton Park West is zero, too. All my neighborhoods, all, like, surrounding me is zero. And that's really different. Like, Gravoy Park um, is not a super safe neighborhood, but it's becoming better. That's amazing. So, um, another thing that we've done in the city of St. Louis is our police officers no longer have to live in the city in order to be police officers. So, like, I know a cop who's a beat cop in my neighborhood, for example, and he left the force and, and um, became a officer in somewhere in South County. I can't remember which municipality, but so that because him and his wife were moving to St. Charles, he came back when that was dropped because he would prefer to work in the city than it was Sunset Hills. Sunset Hills was where he worked. Police officers who work in the city like working in the city. It's a really, really good police force to work with for. Um, that they're, it's much better than working in a lot of the county and even, you know, that are safer just because they run it better. There's a lot of really good things about the St. Louis Metropolitan PD. Um, they have a good chief and whatnot. Good leadership. So, anyways, that has been huge that they no longer have to live in the city. I don't want a police force that is totally from outside of the city and doesn't like the city, for example. I... 
but that's not what we have. We have people who um, used to live in the city but don't anymore. The city of St. Louis is really small when compared with the county. There are a million people in the county and there are just under 300,000 in the city. And the city doesn't have great schools. They really don't have a lot of great options. Um, so, especially for older grades. So it should be up to the police officers to move to the county and to get into the better schools, but still continue to work in the city. Or, you know, move to St. Charles County if they're willing to drive 30 minutes in. Um, there, there are a lot of reasons people would want to move to the county. You can get a much bigger yard. Just so many reasons that you might not want to live in the city anymore, but you still want to work for the St. Louis Metropolitan PD. And now that we're enabling officers to do that, we're able to get a lot more um, candidates and hire the best ones. So good things are happening in St. Louis, despite what the media may tell you. Uh, things are going well here in a, in a lot of ways, and um, hopefully this trend will continue. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. Write a comment below, anything you want to write. Even if you want to write something nasty towards me, I don't care. I just want to hear your comments. Um, and please share this. All right, thank you.